All right, back here, the Federal Reserve raised its key interest rate by a quarter of a percentage point Wednesday in the ongoing fight against high inflation. This was the Fed's 10th increase since March of 2022, bringing the rate to its highest level in 16 years. The recent hikes have more than doubled mortgage rates, along with raising costs of auto and business loans. And the surge may have also contributed to the collapse of three major banks. The turmoil in the banking industry could be among many reasons why Fed Chair Jerome Powell signaled on Wednesday that the central bank could temporarily pause its streak of consecutive rate hikes. So Nancy Cordes is at the White House with more on all of this and how the Biden administration is responding. Nancy, uh, good to see you. All right. Good to see you too, Anne-Marie. So rising interest rates, uh, bad news for the Biden administration and his quest for re-election? Or, I don't know, perhaps because the Fed chair sort of couched it a little, like it could be coming to an end, uh, that if people see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, they may not feel so badly about it. It's really a mixed bag and hard to say what this means in the long run for the economy around the time that President Biden is up for re-election. On one hand, yes, interest rates are higher. That makes it uh, more difficult to borrow money. It makes it more expensive to buy a home, to buy a car. It's led to the uh, collapse of three major banks in the past two months. Those are all uh, a tough signs for the president. On the other hand, inflation has been coming down as a result of these rate hikes, not as fast as the White House would like, but it is down from the peak last year of 9% to about 5%. They'd like it to be uh, somewhere around 2%. So uh, the big question is, if the Fed continues to raise rates, does that cause an economic slowdown? Do we move into a recession? Even the Fed chair yesterday said it's possible we could see a mild recession, but he can't say whether or not that'll happen yet. So there's still a lot of uncertainty. And yes, presidents' faiths do rise and fall based on the uh, strength of the economy. Right now, the, uh, the, the future is uncertain. Some economists predict that we could be heading into a recession. Some don't see it in the data that we have right now. Okay, so the other kind of big issue is the debt ceiling. Does this have an impact on the debt ceiling negotiations? Absolutely. In fact, the Fed chair offered a very interesting warning yesterday, Anne-Marie. He said, hey, if the U.S. defaults on its debt, if Congress fails to raise the debt limit in time, don't count on the Fed to bail the economy out on this. The Fed just doesn't have the tools to, uh, to deal with what would be a cata catastrophic blow to the economy, jobs lost, U.S. credit rating going down. Uh, and so that is really a reminder that it is up to Congress to raise the debt limit and to raise it in time. The Treasury Secretary has said that uh, the U.S. could run out of money to pay its bills by next month. And the president is only going to be sitting down with congressional leaders for the first time to talk about all this next week. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it's really unclear whether they'll be able to reach some kind of compromise that's suitable to everyone in the next four weeks. Yeah, and even coming close is not good. Um, listen, before I let you go, I want to ask you about something else that's happening uh, at the White House. Um, there's going to be a meeting with, I think, the vice president. She's meeting with um, leaders within sort of the tech industry about the future of AI, artificial intelligence. Can you talk to us a little about that? Absolutely. I mean, AI has been uh, a major concern, not just to this White House, but uh, to, to people all across the country and even to some tech companies because uh, it has been developing so quickly and, uh, as we've seen, has the ability to um, impersonate people, their mm -hmm. audio, their video. And, um, you know, and this is something that, uh, that the White House itself is getting involved in. We saw just just last week after the president announced that he was going to be uh, running for re-election, the RNC released a, a, an ad that had been created with AI, putting images in that had not taken place uh, to suggest that we would be living in sort of an apocalyptic world if President Biden were to be re-elected. So there are a lot of applications of AI, both positive and negative, and this is a sign of the White House wanting to get on top of the issue. Yeah, we saw all sort of the fake news that happened
what could be coming. Uh, Nancy, thank you very much. You're welcome.